we need to be able to add or subtract fractions with different denominators. So here we have two thirds plus one ninth. To do this, we need to get the denominators of our fractions the same. So we need to find a fraction equivalent to two thirds with a denominator of nine. Three times three is nine, two times three is six. So we can replace the two thirds in our question with six ninths. So really, we can do six ninths plus one ninth. So notice what the equal sign really means here. We have two thirds plus one ninth equals six ninths plus one ninth. The equal sign just means is the same as. So adding two thirds and one ninth is the same as adding six ninths and one ninth. But we haven't answered our question yet. To do that, we add the numerators and keep the denominator the same. So we have seven ninths. So what we did in this question was split our two thirds into ninths to make six ninths. Then we added one ninth and that gave us our answer seven ninths. So now we have seven twelfths minus one sixth. So we can change one sixth into twelfths by multiplying by two. So really we have seven twelfths minus two twelfths. And that gives us five twelfths. And you can see what we did here. We had seven twelfths, but we were taking away one sixth. But because one sixth is the same as two twelfths, we have five twelfths left. Now pause the video and work out 11 twelfths minus 2 thirds. So we can change 2 thirds into an equivalent fraction of 8 twelfths. So we can work out 11 twelfths minus 8 twelfths and that gives us 3 twelfths. And to see what we did we started with 11 twelfths, but we took away two thirds of what we had. But two thirds is the same as eight twelfths. So we were left with three twelfths. 